Jewish extremists vandalize Christian graves in Jerusalem. Dozens of graves were vandalized in Jerusalem's cemetery on Mount Zion on January 1st. The perpetrators were shown wearing traditional Jewish attire in a video that emerged a few days later. The cemetery was established in 1848 and has been used to bury British soldiers and Palestinian police officers, some of whose, whose graves were also vandalized. The Protestant Anglican Church manages the cemetery through an affiliated organization. The church and the United Kingdom condemned the attack. Church leaders in Jerusalem maintain that far-right extremists have been trying to push them out of the area for decades, and that extremist Jews have been known to spit on Christians. The authorities say that they will investigate the incident, although no arrests have been confirmed. I think this is the first time I'm seeing uh, Jewish and Christian hate crime. Have you ever seen this before? Honestly, now that you mention it, no. <laughs> I mean, I've seen Jewish and Muslim, Muslim and Jewish, Christian and Jewish, right? I've Pretty much anyone Ju on Jewish, if we're being honest. Yeah, any Jewish any group. Brain. Yeah, many many different groups hates uh, hate crimes on Jewish people. I've never ever ever seen until now hate crimes on on Christians by Jews. Man. Yeah, this is a this is yeah. Now we've seen everything. <laughs> it's the end times. Now we know it's the end times. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, by the way, it also shows how things are getting worse in in Israel. Like how much the radical Judaism and far right extremism and all that crap. All that. This is not good. This is not good. No, it's not good. I'm, it's not no. good. It's kind I, of, I, yeah, I, it's really bad. I'm, I'm predicting a lot of ba more news like this to come in the future. Like, I, like we're going to, I am, Susanna, I am predicting right now, okay, that given what's happening in Israel, a higher percentage of our news is going to start be coming about Israel, right? I agree. So, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to have more reasons to cover uh, religious nonsense coming out of Israel given the way things are heading, unfortunately. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think, yeah, it is, this is, I mean, these are obviously incidents where you're like, oh, this is just the symptom of the greater disease. Um, yeah, D is agreeing with your surprise over this particular <laughs> combination. Um, yeah. I think, well, did you see, and you, you've been following Israel a lot more closely than I have lately. Where, where, what news sources do you follow? to keep in touch with what's happening in Israel? Um, I, people are not going to like what I say. People are going to, Al Jazeera. Al Jazeera is like, yeah. But they're so biased. But, yeah, but that's what I, I mean. But you're aware of the bias. So that's a good thing, uh -huh. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, also, right now, I need their bias. <laughs> like, this is a time that they're, they're biased in the right direction. Uh, but I guess, like, a better news for people who want something more objective, I think you could use France, France 24 is always great. Oh, I do love France 24. Yeah, they're usually mm -hmm. really good. Also, you DW. Do DW. On. DW is really good, too. I do love DW. Oh, D yes. is recommending the Jewish Telegraph Agency. Okay, thank you, D. Um, yeah. yeah, I was curious. And... I was also thinking about the what's the name of the guy that they um <laughs> somebody put said, as okay, the new they, national oh. security minister. <laughs> it's like Ben huh? Giraviv or something. Yeah, yeah, the guy, that, the, the radical guy that the guy. Yeah, that's psycho. Right. Yeah, that's uh, psycho. Yeah. I have read somewhere, I have no idea how credible it is, but we had that news a few weeks ago about how Saudi has like basically acknowledged that they're going to normalize, I mean, like unnamed officials have acknowledged that they're going to normalize ties with Israel. Like it's only a matter of time. I've yeah, heard tell that because of this guy, like single-handedly, like it, this is not like there is going to be no normalization as long as this, that it's going to make it very around. difficult. As long yeah. as he's around, like you can just like kiss that dream goodbye. Yeah. Because the guy is not just anti-Palestinian. The guy is anti-Arab. Right. So yeah. this whole unity of like Saudi Arabia, the UAE and all these um, Gulf Arab countries coming together with Israel 
now that this is Israel's politics, you have literally anti-Arab racists at the head of the government. It's going to make it very difficult to create that Abrahamic accord that is supposed to unite everybody against Iran. You know, so it's basically it, really antithetical to him. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen, but it's just like something. Either something has to, yeah. It's, it's going to be bad. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Right now, there's currently a lot of protests in Israel. I don't know if you guys have seen that. By the leftists have finally realized that they need to become more active in Israel because they have been sleeping for the past couple of years. And now that their country has been taken over, now they finally realize that, oh, crap. It's like when you're in a coma in the hospital and it's only when the fire is scorching your skin that you stand up and go, I need to put out the fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you the guys whole have hospital's been, you already guys, torched. You, yeah, it's a little bit too late. It's a little bit late, guys, but I'm glad you guys have Better figured late out. Than never. Yeah, there was yeah, a protest with like 80,000 people recently. Yeah, it's, it's huge. It's huge because the laws are days. insane. The laws are insane. Like they are literally going back to the dark ages. Israel is like, is like they 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 is they're going anti LGBT, anti woman, anti secularism, anti democracy. You know, pro blasphemy laws. It's it's like it's going into they're like speed running in the opposite direction of progress. So we'll see. This is a, this is. Remember when I said. Remember when I said that, Islam. Is not the greatest threat to Israel. You did say this. I said that. Then I say, I say like, is the greatest threat to Israel? Israel is Orthodox Judaism. Remember, yeah, I said that. Judaism. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So Israel is, you know, if Israel is going to um, hurt, and Israel is going to suffer, not because of Islamic terrorist attacks, but because of Judaism. Yeah, and I, I said in the same tweet that the greatest the greatest threat to uh, India is not Islam. The greatest threat to India is Hinduism. The greatest threat to Israel is not Islam. The greatest threat to Israel is Judaism, right? And the greatest threat to United States is not Islam. The greatest threat to uh, United States is Christianity. You've you know? been saying this for years. Yeah, yeah. I'm very consistent. And thank you, D. D is essentially acting as the other part of my brain. <laughs> right. Giving me the name of the person I was thinking of. Uh, Itamar Ben Gavir. Thank you. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> me and By my way, I'm not... brain cells. <laughs> for, for Before Sergu starts pretending to be one of the trolls that makes, um, that uh, says I'm an Islam apologist, okay? Um, Islam is a, the greatest threat in uh, many countries, okay? Like, for example, in Iran, right? Islam or Pakistan, right? Or, you know, or Bangladesh. So I'm not, I'm not excusing Islam. I'm just saying in these specific countries, there's a bigger threat. Um, anyways, let's move on. Haley um, Hushtipi Orman. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking oh. it. <laughs> Oh, that's so sweet, guys. Oh, <laughs> time I'm in tour. I see some. <laughs> okay, okay. No, sweet. Can we? Um, no, <laughs> I like that. Okay, Mariam knows what you just said, right? Mariam, did you understand? Yeah, that? yeah, yeah. All right, can we clap for the next news? Um, yeah, okay, okay. okay. Uh, next news. Oh, next look news. at this. Wait. No, wait, wait, wait. wait. Right, let me let the comment come. <laughs> let the comment come up and stream it so I can highlight it. Uh, Mariam is saying, John. <laughs> oh, wait. This is another nice comment. I'm so glad this show isn't America or Eurocentric. Means uh, I learn a ton. Yes, we're very international here. Yeah. That's the whole point, because yeah. I feel like in the rest of like a lot of the atheist community, we're that's the only thing people talk about. But our community is literally global. We're the largest in the world. Yes. Prometheus is saying, Armin will never say that atheism is a threat to China. OK, well, I mean, if you could show me that it is, I will I will gl gladly say that. But it's really difficult for atheism to be a threat to anything, given that it doesn't have any 
teachings. Like for you to be a threat, you have to actually advocate for something, <laughs> right? Atheism is literally just a lack of belief in God. So, I mean, atheism has to really try hard to be a threat to anything. Like I'm, I'm trying to be objective. I'm not trying to be biased because I'm an atheist, but I'm like, like really thinking, that, like thinking this through. How can atheism be an active threat to anything when it's not telling you to do anything? It has no teachings. Okay, so yeah, you can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary. Japanese gods, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.